here with uh, Emil Abi Rashid, founder of Startup Business in Italy. Uh, hi, Emil. Hi, thank how you, are you for doing? having me here. Welcome. Uh, how are you finding Arabnet so far? Well, I'm finding Arabnet uh, very good. I was here for the very first edition two years ago. Yes. And um, unfortunately, last year uh, I wasn't here, so I saw how uh, much is grow the event. Uh, and um, I'm proudly also a media partner of uh, uh, Arabnet. Thank you. So it's fantastic. It's a really great event, very international, very good, very well organized. So tell us more about startup business. Startup business is um, a sort of a business network for, for the um, innovation and startup ecosystems in Italy. It counts uh, more than uh, 3,000 um, members so far. Uh, and those members are all entrepreneurs, startups, uh, investors, uh, incubators. And um, it's a sort of community that lives online and offline because we also organize some events, uh, things like the speed dating of innovation, yeah. uh, where uh, investors and, uh, and the startups meet uh, one to one, three minutes. Uh, it's quite amazing what it works. <laughs> and um, and now startup business is uh, at the heart of the Italian ecosystem of the startups. And um, uh, I use it also to deliver a series of uh, services. Uh, for example, my partners are uh, people like uh, uh, Microsoft, Bitspark, Amazon Web Services, uh, and uh, also uh, the uh, biggest Italian bank. So startup business is also a platform to deliver services specifically tailored for, for startups. Uh, when did you first launch? I launched uh, uh, Startup Business in, at the end of 2008 um, because, uh, I mean, I'm a journalist, so I started uh, to, to study and to write about this uh, uh, ecosystem uh, as a journalist. And then I realized that uh, I should do something more uh, and create some tools in order to uh, uh, boost the, the evolution of the um, Ecosystem. So I created a startup business for the reason. I also created a magazine that is called Innovazione Magazine, that is the voice of the ecosystem. But I write also for the Italian edition of Wired and for the main Italian newspaper, financial newspaper. How do you think the ecosystem in Italy is similar to the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Lebanon? Well, I I'm seeing very much similarities. That's why I'm here. Uh, but the similarities is just a starting point uh, in my point of view. What, what I strongly believe is we are in a situation where we can create a um, Mediterranean-wide ecosystem because that is the real uh, um, chance to unlock all the opportunities. Yes. I'm seeing that what is happening in Italy is happening also in Lebanon, it's happening also in other places like Jordan or Egypt or Spain. I mean. The countries that are uh, uh, populating the shores of Mediterranean are doing, um, are developing those kind of ecosystems in a similar way. So I strongly believe there is a, a big chance. For example, I believe that incubators in different countries can make networks. I believe that investors should be more um, cross-border. That's, I think, it's a good opportunity because uh, there are a lot of ideas, a lot of talents, a lot of uh, opportunities, you know, markets. What were the main ch challenges that startups in Italy are facing today? Uh, okay, that's a, a very good question. Um, let's say that the biggest problem in Italy for startups now is the uh, bureaucratic problems, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but uh, what I always uh, say to the uh, entrepreneurs is that don't take uh, those problems as an excuse to do not the startups. Go straight, okay. Uh, hard levels are everywhere, okay. Uh, in Italy we have that kind of, of problem, but uh, no one of those problems um, can, can stop the fact that if you want to develop your idea and transform it in a project and make this project making money and bring value to the world, to the society, go on. And I mean, no one said it was going to be easy. It's not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. easy at all. But I mean, if you have the flame of the entrepreneurship that burns in you, there is nothing that can, can stop it. 
Did you meet some young entrepreneurs in Lebanon? I, I, I do, I do. Uh, the, the, um, uh, the thing I like is that uh, I meet some young entrepreneurs I met uh, two years ago and uh, I, I met them again uh, in these days and I'm seeing they are uh, developing, okay? Uh, someone uh, um, closed the startup uh, they had uh, two years ago and launched a new one. That means something, you know? Mm. Failure is part of the Definitely. process, okay? Yes. That is a, a, an important message. And I'm seeing they are doing also things to uh, help the ecosystem to grow up, mm -hmm. like a club of entrepreneurs and things like that. So mm, I'm seeing this is a very important because the value, I mean, making a startup is, also, is not just mechanic, mm -hmm. it's the passion. You have to put, you have to risk, you have to put all you have in that. Okay. And creating value is not just making money, it's transform what you do in, in a social impact. Amazing. Well, thank you for chatting with Wamda. Thank and you for having me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Yes, for sure. Thank you very much. Welcome.